This is my AeroWorks 30cc Edge 540, which I put together back around December of 2013, which as of now was a little over three years ago. And uh, when I put it together, I decided to put an OS 160 on it. It seemed to be the most affordable engine, the lightest weight, most power of all the options. So I thought it would be a good choice. When the engine was new, I put it on a test stand and I broke it in per the instruction manual's break-in procedures. And the first several flights with this plane were, were great. It would start like on the first flip, uh, idle nice and slow. It had great throttle response, so in true OS fashion it seemed to be a great engine. And then uh, probably after 10 flights or so, uh, after I'd had a few months, I took the plane out to the field and it started right up. But every time you'd advance the throttle, it would just cut out and die. And I was playing with the needle valves and trying to figure out what was going on. So I explored various possibilities. Uh, I checked uh, the fuel lines, the fuel tank, and I do have the fuel lines routed through a fuel filler valve here. So I disconnected that and I'm, I just had straight lines running from the tank to the carburetor and tested it here at home and it would do the same thing. It would start really easy, but when you'd advance the throttle, it would cut out and die. I tried cleaning out the needle valve. Uh, I took it out and I, I forced fuel through there to clean all that out. The carburetor and so forth thought maybe there was some dirt or debris that accumulated in there. And that didn't seem to make any difference. The guys at the field insisted, they told me repeatedly, you're, somehow you're sucking air in through the needle valve more than likely, and they said it's very common. Of course, I had never experienced it before, so I kind of doubted it. So I purchased some extra large diameter fuel tubing, which is what I needed to fit over this needle valve. Cut off a small piece, and uh, I unscrewed the needle valve, and I fit the fuel tubing over it, and I screwed it back in. It's a very tight fit. It's, it's very difficult to turn the needle valve now. <laughs> so there's no way any extra air could be leaking in or through that area. So I'm going to try it out now and see if this is the solution. Okay, it's all fueled up and ready to start. for the real test.
to advance quite nicely from the low idle when you let it idle for 30 seconds or so. Smoothly advance the throttle. Of test. Wow, I think that got it. It was a good test. Looks like the engine's performing quite nicely. It's probably running a little rich. There was a lot of smoke coming out, but I'm going to leave it set that way for now. And hopefully, this Saturday, Ian and I can uh, take it out to the field and see what happens. Thanks for watching. <laughs>